for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <clears throat> That's why the world needs people like us. struggling. Almost too easy. Don't get careless. Demon Fang! Don't tell me. Do it mine. Here I come. It's over. Your wings won't save you from me! You're finished! Talent school! We got fire! I've got it! Let a marksman handle it! Here I come! All yours! I think a marksman handles it! Do it! We did it! These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. I have a bad feeling. 
feeling about this? Not today! You're surrounded! Just Let stay calm! Huh? Damn it! Freezing storm! Destruct it! Damn it! What's wrong? Nothing! Focus on the fight! You're finished! See Sword Rain Alpha! Challenge the door! Here I go! You're mine! Do it! Do it! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue Drop on, Mark Rain! Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? Whoa! Take a look at that! like we won. <sighs> Great, now I'm hurt and dirty. I'd steer clear of that Zoogle if I were you. That weak, huh? I have a bad feeling Demon about this. Not you too! I'm not done! See ya! Tell it! Hey, You're mine! Time to destruct it! Burning strike! Here I come! You're finished! Demon Fang! Damn it! What's wrong? Nothing! Here I come. Focus on the fight! Piss on! Eat their touch! And one final push! Right! Oh, Give them all we got! Any injuries?
I can feel my power growing! my precision improving. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> no choice. Demon Pay! Here I go. You're mine. I'll run you through. Take this. See ya. Demon Pay! Talent Storm. Here I go. Storm. It's over. Take this. I got you. Uh -huh. Sword Lane Alpha. Easier said than done. No excuses. This is up to us. Nicely done. now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all, in spite of their technical advantage, has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions.
So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Shion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more up front than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that, and give her the support she needs. You two are gonna be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? What could this be? Normally I don't pick up the bag! A freezing storm! Pick it! I bring it! Burn! Touch Don't let them form a pack! Don't go charging off like that! It's a balance storm! Touch Cannon! I'm not done! Pathetic! I noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm hmm Hey! Oh? Whoa!
Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? This might go well in that new recipe. Can't wait to see what you make. You Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. Crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Ha-choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? Ha-choo! Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Eh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. 
Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? Flames and my technique. We're stronger together than we are apart. Gotta break through. Destruction. Oh, See ya. Destruction. You're surrounded. Just stay calm. Flame, Still got some energy Demon left. Flame. Need you ask? Glad to hear it. Through. In that case, come on. Demon Fang. Here I come. I'm on. You're finished! <laughs> Houses in a place like this? People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich, coming from the Bright Eyes, whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now... What's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's Head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah. I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there, and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislo Den.